welcome back to the channel, it's Shoney, Pilot's Garage. And today we're going to remove the turbo. We'll show you how to take it off, take the oil lines off, the water line, take it, show you how to do that. And then we're going to set the engine back down in where it belongs, the best I can get it. Um, I want to get as far forward to the sway bar as I can get so I can get the shifter put in. Well, the lined up, we may have to cut the floor. But on this episode, I'll show you how to remove it. We'll get it lined up and get the the shifter situated. Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna work on getting this turbo off. So there's a, hard to see, I guess. Where are we at here? So there's this nut that goes on here, and there's this little metal flange. Kind of hard to see. There's a little metal flange. You have to straighten it up in order to get the nut off. And there's one. You like that. Of course, I just threw it holes around. Gotta get my flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. Well, that makes a difference, doesn't it? So you see these little metal flanges. So there's an, usually a nut here, and then there's one way back in there. And the nut, the flange, is really hard to So to all the people that do this without pulling the engine out, you guys are my heroes. I guess it was 13. So this will go off here in a second. I'll show you the, the metal flange back in here. Okay. So this is the Little metal flange just talking about. So there's a stud that sticks down through. Flip it up a bit easier. You can see right there. So the nut sits in there. Then this is actually clamped over so that this is unable to turn. So you gotta straighten these out in order to get these nuts off. And there's four of them. There's one back here yet. Now, before I do that, these turbos are water cold and oil, as, well, as well as oil cold. So this, the bottom coming out of the turbo is the drain. There is an oil feed on top, and then there's a water feed and a water return. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to take the drain off, and then the other one is. Let's take, there's a, another flange back here to take out another hose. But I'll take these off and that'll allow me to get the turbo off. The bigger one's a night, the water's a 19, the oil is in 17. Or not. 
I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna cheat. I have, I have a half inch torque. But you make short work of it. So when you pull these out, there are, rah, there are little washers in behind it. So one goes on the back side, and then the banjo bolt goes through, and there's actually one on the, the banjo on the banjo bolt. So a banjo bolt is, you see the hole through it? There's a hole in the end of it. So it allows oil to go through the end of the bolt and then out through here. And then the fitting that's on the vehicle, which is this guy. It's this guy. He um so it's a it's a it's a it's a tube. The end of the tube's round and there's a, and there's an orifice in it which goes into that little hole inside of that bolt. So sometimes they, I mean it's rarely that they get clogged, but sometimes. So we'll take this one out now. Oh, I'll drop that washer. I'll get it here in a minute. And then this one, side of the well, I'll just leave it on. Okay. Now that I did that, I will grab. I think these are this one. So we'll take these off. So just the oil drain. Just loosen the hose up. That's loose like that. There's one done. I mean, you don't have to take them both off, but I don't know which one's gonna come off easier, so I'll just take them both. Then there it is. Hose back here. It's a clamp. So So I got that hose off back here. So all I gotta do now is get the the 13 millimeter out the back of it. So I have no idea why they put these on here like this. I mean, I need to... That's all the follower I can turn that stupid thing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So... 13 millimeter. I have short stubbies. Let me go right real quick. This guy's just like me, short and round.
Now, always make sure you get a hold of this thing because of that. I should allow this not to come the rest of the way out. There he is, little guy. He's cute. Now look how much room that gives me in this hole to try to get this down in there where it belongs. All right, so I'm gonna set her back down in. So the whole assembly got to go this way. Looks like the whole car got to go back. So we slide the assembly out like that. So, crack it down a little bit. More.
There it is. Sitting in where it belongs. All right. So, it's finally sitting in relatively where it belongs. So now that I removed the turbo out of there, it gives me so much more room over here. I'm not hitting anything. Everything's out of the way. So now what we need to do, you see how close I am to that front sway bar now. I don't know how much problems that's going to give me. So, the next thing to do is to cut the hole in the floor for the transmission. And then keep moving forward. Alright, so, as you can see, this is the shifter. And this is where my carpet is. So I'm going to have to cut the carpet back. So we need to go back and verify what I'm going to cut here. So I need to come back at least to the seat. i got to cut this. Let me get my hand out of the way. i got to cut this out. So i got to lower the transmission down. Watch your ears. Okay, so that should get me pretty close, and I lost my I lost my turbo towel. It's all right, I'll shove another rag down there. But this should get me close. I'll finish cutting that off. But let's go out here. Let's go out here and look. So that raised my engine back up. And it still gives me clearance on my sway bar. That should get me enough. Should give me what I need. So, like I said before, I need to take out those motor mounts at the bottom, which in turn lower the end. Use that back up. Which will in turn will lower the engine another quarter inch or whatever another inch or so in the front so that should level that off and then I'll work on making custom mounts for the front and mounts for the transmission to hold it all into place all right see you guys next time